to plan my week. Creating a weekly plan not only gives me peace of mind, but it keeps me organized throughout the week. Putting everything down on paper allows me to get it out of my head and feel good about what I need to do each day of the week. I'm using the Louis Vuitton GM size agenda that I purchased in Paris this spring. I use mostly cloth and paper inserts, but I also have some items from a few smaller stationery companies as well. I use some cloth and paper stickers and some happy planner stickers. And this is how I plan my week. So right now you will see me finalizing my brain dump list. A brain dump list allows you again to get everything out of your brain and down on paper. This really helps you to feel like I am not forgetting anything. So I pretty much keep this list throughout the week. And then when I sit down to plan, I jot down a few more things that come to mind or things that I may have recorded in my phone. And that helps to get me started for the week. So you will see that I pulled out my pages for the week and I'm getting my stickers in order so that I can begin planning. Right now I'm choosing a color theme. I tend to stick to neutral colors most of the time unless I'm feeling a little froggy and I wanna do some <laughs> bright colors, but this week I'm choosing sort of a latte color palette, a latte and cream color palette I would say, and it's showing a little bit orange on the screen, but I think that's just from my lighting um, that's making that color come out that way. So what you will see in the far left corner, I am creating bullets for my weekly task list. These are all of the things that I must do this week. I'm also taking the Saturday and the Sunday columns and turning them into list columns for me. I'm using the Sunday column as my important projects column and my Saturday column as my running grocery list for the week. So my important projects column, I use primarily for big projects, things that I need to start, things that I need to work on that move me ahead, that make me see some progress in a big project. That's different from my weekly task list, which are things that I must do this week. You will also see me work on my daily task list and we'll talk about the difference in that. Right now you will see me going through and looking at my meetings, appointments, any places that I need to be and I found that even though it's in my phone this method really works well for me to write down what I need to do each day, all of the time sensitive things, the meetings, the appointments, things like that and their times. And then after that, underneath those for each day, I will build my daily to-do list, which you will see in just a moment. you will see me taking out some to-do list headers. And I'm just placing these down on each day so that I can build my daily to-do list. When I'm building my daily to-do list, I am only giving myself three big things to do each day. Now that sounds crazy, right? <laughs> You're like, I have a million things to do each day. <laughs> But I think that what happens is we run around like chickens 
because we don't organize our week. You might think that you have a million things to do each day, and you might, but you're not doing them all effectively, with impact, and with greatness and excellence. And so we really probably can only do about three really good things each day and do them well. And so what I do is I put down those three things I'm going to do each day. And I will, if I don't get them done, I will move something to the next day. Sometimes I sit down and I put down my three things and I smash right through those three things. And that's when I go to my weekly list where I will pull something from there and complete it or I will go to my project list and do a little bit more on a given project. And so what you will see me doing here is putting down my bullet points for my three big things each day. This is so interesting to me because this type of planning and this type of thought organization, which is really what it is, comes naturally to me. But so many people have asked me, how do you get so much done in a day? It seems like you're getting more done than anyone gets done in a day. And I attribute this to getting my thoughts out of my head and onto the page. This is what keeps you from running around like crazy and rushing around. And what I have found is I'm able to do my task in a state of calm. Peace and calm is the way to do excellent work in a timely manner. And what you will find is you will get even more done than you ever thought possible. So right now you'll see me going to my brain dump list and I'm writing things from that list onto the page. So every single thing from my brain dump list gets onto my weekly plan. And it may come in the form of a daily task, it may come in the form of a weekly item to do, or it may come in the form of a project item. So here's how I decide between the three. Projects to me are a big task that have multiple steps that might take you several days or several weeks to accomplish. Weekly tasks are things that might have several steps, but it's possible to get them done within the week. Daily tasks are things that I must do this today. I must do this today. So for example, if I have a project that is due on Thursday, I'm going to put a little time on Monday and Tuesday to get that project completed. And by Thursday, before Thursday, before it's time to turn it in, it's complete. If I have something that, oh, I must do this particular task on Wednesday, that goes on Wednesday. So that's how I think about my brain dump list. And then I categorize everything in my planner. You'll see me doing that right now. Referring to the list and getting everything in the planner. And then that list is done, it's burned, it's out of my head. And I'm feeling at peace, I'm feeling accomplished, this also helps me to feel like I've already done something for the week because I know what I'm going to be doing each day. Do things arise? Yes. Things always arise. We live, we are humans and we live life. Uh, but when things arise, they're not such a catastrophe because everything else in your life is already planned out and you have space and you have the mental and the spiritual depth to be able to handle whatever arises. And right now you'll see me writing in uh, that I need to take a walk and I highlight that for each day because each day my doctor has told me you need to get out there and take a walk for at least 30 minutes. So I highlight that for myself each day. And I have a payday coming this week, so I'm just marking that down with a few stickers 
uh, and you'll see me do that. And another thing that I like to do, again, we're human, I like to encourage myself. And so I have these little strip stickers that have encouraging phrases like, you got this, you go girl, you're doing an awesome job. And so each day I put down a little sticker that gives me a little encouragement so that I can keep going throughout my day. It's just a little something I like to do for myself. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. Um, it's been great. And now I'll put my pages back into my agenda and my week is planned. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye.